So welcome to our service of baptism. <laughs> uh, everybody should have one of the programs, and you'll see there's some uh, plain text print, and then, right, and some bold face print. Uh, this is a communal exercise. This is for all of us to do. We all participate in this together. So anytime there's a bold face print, that's the part that you're supposed to say. So I'll be the leader throughout this, and you will respond with all of the bold print people responses. But let's begin with this word of prayer. Let us pray. God, the Holy Spirit, who in the beginning hovered over the waters, who at Pentecost was poured out under the signs of fire and wind, come to us. In the unity of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, Amen. Hear these words from Scripture, first from the Apostle Peter, who said, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, so that your sins may be forgiven, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And these words also from the Apostle Paul, who said, Do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? Therefore, we have been buried with him by baptism, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by God's glory, so too might we walk in newness of life. For if we have been united with him in a death like his, we will certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. And hear these words from Jesus Christ himself, who said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. So go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Gracious God, we thank you that you have made water a sign of your presence. and anointed with your spirit for his ministry. Wash away the sins of the ones who enter it now. Pour out your spirit on them to make them one with Christ. In his name we pray, amen. This is Clara Monroe, and she came forward two weeks ago to confess her faith in Jesus Christ, and she stands before you now to be baptized. Clara, we celebrate your faith and we recognize your faith, and now on account of your faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And this is Clara Damery, and she came forward two weeks ago to confess her faith in Jesus Christ, and she stands before you now to be baptized. And Clara, we recognize your faith, and we celebrate and give thanks for your faith, and now on account of your faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We, we always give a blessing to everyone who's been baptized, and we want to do that together so the blessing is printed in your bulletin. And as I lay my hands on their heads, let's say these words together. Clara and Clara, by your baptism, you are blessed as a child of God and sealed with grace as a member of God's family. You will never need to doubt your salvation, for your baptism is a sign of your faith and your eternal life. Amen. Let's give some praise and thanksgiving to God for these two wonderful people in this day today. All right, we're going to sing all the people said amen. Verse one and then the chorus twice out. Here we go. Two. 